Okay. So, how do you define masculinity? I think I would define masculinity as hurt, as pain, and self-suffering that's hidden. Yeah, so masculinity, uh, I don't think it has to be a male or a female. I just think it means being strong and knowing what's right for you and yeah, just strength and courage. Great. Yeah, I think masculinity is a prison. My definition of masculinity is a strong, caring man that loves his family and wants the best for his family and his kids. Um, I guess masculinity, I think of strength, but also like sensitivity. I think for me, masculinity is being brave enough to be vulnerable. So I think that there is a little bit of a toxic masculinity going on right now that's a little throwback to masculinity that's um, associated with aggression. I would say, I would say women can be masculine. I don't think it should be gender specific. And I think the definition today isn't, um, or at, at least I think in society, it's the, the term is tailored to men only, but I think women can be masculine too, so. I would define masculinity as an energy. It's kind of just more like, no, like rugged and like sharp. I don't know. I think masculinity is overrated. I feel as if the social norms that are constructed in society are just plain, plainly um, an obstruction of the Constitution. This uh, thing standing out. Okay, okay. <laughs> thing standing out. <laughs> so masculinity to me is. Strength. My definition of masculinity would be a nurturer, caretaker, provider, and someone who is who has a silent strength. That's, that's it. Take on challenges that no one else can take on. Um, and I think masculinity is not just for males, genetically or biologically. I think it's for everyone. We have a little bit of masculinity in all of us. I think as a single mom, I totally have masculinity. So, men are expected to go through the motions of life and the difficulties of life that other people are, but they're expected to act as if they're not, or cover it up, or just swallow it. And there's a lot of limitations on how well they can express themselves in a way that's perceived as appropriate. And I don't think that's fair. So I think it translates into a lot of hurt and pain. It's our culture defines masculinity as, you know, stronger than, you know, femininity, I suppose. But to me, that kind of doesn't matter. Uh, I feel like it's about who you are, who you want to be. Uh, let's say my, my brother and my sister, okay. they're both very masculine just because they're both um, go-getters. They fight for what they want. So, say so they're masculine. Okay. And they're, they're actually really strong physically, so they'll kick some ass. I don't okay. think it's all about um, physical strength. I think it's not just that, rather. It's very faceted. So I think it's physical, it's emotional, it's mental, it's spiritual, it's strength overall. Um, but I do think there might be a little bit of differences because of what we deal as feminine with as a fem from a feminine standpoint you may have to deal with things differently your strengths may have to show in a different way i don't know you have different cultures where men wear skirts kilts and all that other jazz and you know that's not even thought of as you know being unmasculine so i guess masculinity can encompass what you want it to encompass is your definition of how you want to be. Um, probably my partner. He's a trans man, so I think of all the men I've ever met, he's really the most masculine and just, that includes just being caring and just, like there for me. Yeah. It's a way of being, but it's also not limited to 
your genitalia or how you identify you know, sexually. It's just an essence. And depending on where you fall on the spectrum, you get it and maybe you don't. But it's also a construct, and that's where it's a problem. I feel like masculinity is defined by men being uh, not sensitive and then overly emotional as compared to females. And I just don't think it's correct because it, it creates these social norms that uh, define men in a certain aspect that shouldn't be a limitation to who they are. It's a problem when it becomes an expectation. Also, masculinity is a problem when it's used to trap people, to keep them down, especially women, and when it's made to make other people feel inferior. And I think that for me, a new masculinity would be a masculinity where courage is transformed from sort of a warring stance to a vulnerability stance. It, it really limits men and women because it, it limits men to not really have uh, as much of their uh, femininity. I just think that defining, because I know what you're referring to, I know you're referring to feminine as nurturing or caring or soft or just vulnerable and defining it as feminine is what you know causes half the problem because of course men are human beings we have feelings we have emotions and they're no different than us but society and cultural norms have made femininity exclusive to a female and masculinity exclusive to a male when really we're just striving for equality and for understanding and companionship with one another.